Today is an extremely special day because I am going to show you how to crochet one of my favourite patterns and this is my go-to pattern when people have a baby or have a baby shower and I take this caterpillar with a copy of the Hungry Caterpillar book and it's a gift, a learning gift for the new baby so they'll be able to read the book and they also have their teddy, handmade, one of a kind, Hungry Caterpillar. Now before we get cracking, I need you to do me a massive favour, I need you to thumbs up this video if you like these tutorials and if you haven't already, click that subscribe button. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything and it really really helps my channel out. So let's get to it. So let's begin with red DK yarn and my 3.5mm hook and I'm going to start with a slip knot onto hook and I'm going to chain two, one and two. Now I'm going to do six single crochet into the second chain from hook. So into the second chain I'm going to insert my hook and do six single crochet all into this one chain space. So one, two, three, four, five and six. And that was the equivalent of a magic loop. I prefer to chain two and to crochet into the second chain from hook instead of doing a magic loop because it's more secure. But if you prefer to do a magic loop, you're going to do six single crochets into a magic loop. Now you're going to meet me right back here and we're going to continue together. So for the next round, we're going to increase from six stitches to 12. To do that, we're going to do two single crochets into every stitch beneath. So let's come in a little bit. If you see a little paw to the side of me, I've got my cat sitting next to me and he keeps trying to rob a tickle. So to increase to 12, we're going to do two single crochets into every stitch the whole way around. So into the first stitch, I'm going to do two single crochets for stitches number one and two. Increase in the next stitch for three and four. Increase in the next stitch for five and six. Increase in the next stitch for seven and eight. Increase in the next stitch for nine and ten. And increase into the next stitch for stitches number eleven and twelve. So we now have twelve stitches and on the next row we're going to increase to eighteen. So to do that we're going to single crochet into one stitch then we're going to do two single crochets into the following stitch six times. So let's do that. So I'm going to single crochet for one and now I'm going to increase in the next stitch for two and three. Single crochet for four, increase in the next stitch for five and six, five and six, single crochet seven, Increase in the next stitch for 8 and 9, single crochet 10, increase in the next stitch for 11 and 12, single crochet 13, increase in the next stitch for 14 and 15, single crochet 16 and increase in the last stitch of this round for stitch number 17 and 18. So you should have something that looks like this. So for the next round we're going to increase to 24 stitches and to do that we're going to single crochet into two stitches and then do two single crochets into the following stitch six times. So I'm going to single crochet for one and two and increase in the next stitch for three and four. Single crochet five and six, increase into the next stitch for seven and eight single crochet 9 and 10, increase in the next stitch for 11 and 12, single crochet 13 and 14, increase in the next stitch for 15 and 16, single crochet 17 and 18, increase in the next stitch for 19 and 20, then single crochet 21 and 22, and increase in the last stitch of this round for 23. 
on 24. So we've got one more round of increases and we're going to increase from these 24 stitches to 30. And to do that, we're going to single crochet into three stitches and then we're going to do two single crochets into the following stitch six times. So we're going to single crochet for one, two and three. Increase in the next stitch for four and five. Single crochet six, seven and eight. Increase in the next stitch for 9 and 10. Single crochet 11, get some more yarn, 11, 12 and 13. Increase in the next stitch for 14 and 15. Single crochet 16, 17 and 18. Increase in the next stitch for 19 and 20. Single crochet 21, 22, 23, increase in the next stitch for 24 and 25, single crochet 26, 27, 28, an increase in the last stitch of this round for 29 and 30. So we've got 30 stitches and we're now going to single crochet around these 30 stitches for four rounds. So four rounds of single crochet and I'll meet you back here when I've nearly finished mine. I've just finished my four rows of single crochet around and now I'm going to do some decreasing. So we have 30 stitches and I'm going to decrease to 24. To do that I'm going to single crochet into three stitches and then I'm going to single crochet two stitches together and I'm going to do that six times. So I'm going to single crochet for one, two and three and now I'm going to decrease for the fourth stitch and the way I'm going to do my decreases for this stitch and for every other stitch in this pattern is I'm going to take my crochet hook I'm going to go underneath the front loop only of the first stitch then I'm going to go under the front loop only of the second stitch so there are three loops on my hook yarn over and pull through two loops so there are two loops on my hook yarn over and pull through these two loops and that's how I'm going to do all my single crochet two stitches together so I've just decreased for stitch number four and now I'm going to single crochet for five, six and seven. And now I'm going to decrease for stitch number eight again. So one more time, I'm going to take my hook, insert it under the front loop only of the first stitch, insert it under the front loop only of the second stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So I've just decreased or single crochet two stitches together for the eighth stitch. So now I'm going to single crochet for nine, 10 and 11 and then single crochet two stitches together for 12 single crochet 13 14 and 15 single crochet two together for 16 single crochet 17 18 and 19 single crochet two together for 20 then single crochet one 21 22 23 and single crochet two stitches together for stitch number 24. For the next row I'm going to decrease from 24 stitches to 18. To do that I'm going to single crochet into two stitches and then single crochet two stitches together six times. So we're going to single crochet for one and two and then decrease for three. Single crochet four and five decrease for six single crochet seven and eight decrease for nine single crochet ten and eleven decrease for twelve single crochet thirteen and fourteen decrease for fifteen single crochet 16 and 17 decrease for 18 so I'm going to do one more round of decreases but before I do I'm just going to put a little bit of stuffing in the head so I don't have to struggle later on when this gap becomes too small so I'm just going to put a bit of stuffing in there for now 
and I've got one more round of decreases to do for the moment so I'm going to reinsert my hook and now I'm going to decrease from 18 stitches to 12 and to do that I'm going to single crochet into one stitch and then single crochet two stitches together six times so I'm going to single crochet one decrease for two single crochet three decrease for four single crochet five decrease for six single crochet seven decrease for eight single crochet nine decrease for ten single crochet eleven and then decrease for twelve So we've now finished with our red yarn, so I need to fasten off with it. To do that I'm going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch to join and then chain one and I am going to cut this yarn. And that's how I'm going to fasten off after each colour. So our caterpillar's head is done. Now it's time to start making his body segments. So there are going to be seven all together. And to make them we're going to alternate each segment with a different colour green. So I'll be using three shades of green in total. And this is the first colour that I'll be using. So we want to attach the green yarn to our head. So I'm going to start by doing a slip stitch onto my hook. Now we currently have 12 stitches. And on this next round we want to increase to 24. So to do that, to double our stitch count, we're going to do two single crochets into every stitch around here. So first of all I need to attach my yarn, so to do that I'm going to insert my hook into any of the stitches. I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop, so there are two loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull through both of these loops. So I've attached my new colour and I've done my first single crochet. And with these yarn tails I'm just going to hold them in the back for a couple of stitches, about three or four stitches and weave them in or crochet them in as I go. And that'll just save me having to do any needle work at the end of this toy. So we've done one single crochet into that stitch and as I said earlier we need to do two into every stitch to get our stitch count to 24. So we need to do another single crochet into that stitch to make two stitches. Now into the next stitch I'm going to do an increase for stitches number three and four, then into the next stitch increase for five and six, increase into the next stitch for seven and eight, increase into the next for nine and ten, into the next for eleven and twelve, into the next for thirteen and fourteen, into the next for 15 and 16, into the next for 17 and 18, into the next for 19 and 20, into, get some more yarn, into the next for 21 and 22, and into the last stitch of this round for 23 and 24. So we now have 24 stitches, I'm going to push them yarn tails into the doll and now I'm going to single crochet around these 24 stitches for three rounds. So three rounds of single crochet. And I'll meet you back here when I'm done. So I've finished my three rows now and we're going to do some decreasing again. So we're going to decrease to 18 stitches from 24. So to do that, as you remember, we're going to single crochet into two stitches and then we're going to single crochet two stitches together. We're going to do that six times. So single crochet for one and two, decrease for three, single crochet four and five, decrease for six, single crochet seven and eight, decrease for nine, single crochet 10 and 11, decrease for 12, single crochet 13 
and 14 decrease for 15 single crochet 16 and 17 decrease for 18 and we're going to decrease one more time to take them back to 12 stitches so we're going to single crochet into one stitch then single crochet two stitches together six times so single crochet one decrease for two single crochet three decrease for four single crochet five decrease for six single crochet seven decrease for eight single crochet nine decrease for ten single crochet eleven and decrease for twelve so I'm going to fasten off with this green colour now so I am going to do my slip stitch into the next stitch to join and chain one to fasten off and cut the yarn tail so that is the first body segment done and as I said we're going to make a total of seven of these but we're going to do six of them in exactly the same way we did this for this first one so you're going to repeat this segment exactly the way I just did it for another four rows so I'll change one more time to a different colour and show you how to do this segment again so my next colour of choice is this darker green so I'm going to add it by first of all doing a slip knot onto hook and if you remember the first round is going to be doubled so we currently have 12 stitches and on the first round we're going to increase to 24 stitches so to add this new yarn I'm going to insert my hook into any of the stitches I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop so there are two loops on my hook then I'm going to yarn over and pull through both of these loops and now I'm going to do two single crochets into every stitch the whole way round to make a total of 24 stitches and I'm holding these yarn tails in the back for a couple of stitches so we've done one already into this stitch so we need to do another one to make a total of two stitches so now I'm going to increase into the next stitch for three and four into the next for five and six five and six into the next for seven and eight next for nine and ten then eleven and twelve thirteen and fourteen fifteen and sixteen seventeen and eighteen nineteen and twenty twenty one and twenty two and 23 and 24 there we go so now I'm going to single crochet around these 24 stitches for three rounds so three rounds of single crochet and I'll meet you back here when I'm done so I finished my three rounds and it's time to do the decreasing again so we have 24 stitches and the first thing we're going to do is decrease to 18 so to do that we're going to single crochet into two stitches and then single crochet two stitches together six times so one and two decrease for three single crochet four and five decrease for six single crochet seven and eight decrease for nine single crochet ten and eleven decrease for twelve single crochet thirteen and fourteen decrease for fifteen single crochet sixteen and 17 decrease for 18 and as you're going with your doll you want to stuff it as you go so you don't want to wait till the end and do one big stuff because it'll make it more difficult so before I do my next decreasing to 12 I'm going to pull my loop up and I'm going to add a little bit more stuff and now to the body
Okay. So it's taken his shape a little bit now. So reinsert my hook to do my last round of decreasing of this segment and we're going to decrease from 18 to 12 stitches. So I'm going to single crochet into one stitch and then single crochet two stitches together six times. So single crochet one, decrease for two. Single crochet three, decrease for four. Single crochet five, decrease for six. Single crochet seven, decrease for eight. Single crochet nine, decrease for ten. Single crochet eleven, and decrease for twelve. Then I'm going to slip stitch to join, chain one and fasten off. And that is the second segment of the caterpillar done. So as I said earlier, we're going to do seven of these segments. So we've already done two. So you're going to repeat what I've shown you here, change and colour every segment for another five segments. And on the last segment, you're not going to fasten off. So on the last segment, when you get to the 12 stitches, I will come back and show you what to do then. So repeat this another five times and on the last segment I'll meet you back here with your yarn still attached to your hook. So I have finished my last segment and I have decreased to 12 stitches and I'm going to fasten off now with this yarn but I'm going to leave a longer than normal tail because I'll use this tail to sew the hole at the end closed. So I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch to join, chain one and cut my yarn leaving a longer tail. And now I can complete stuffing his body. Okay, and when you're happy with the stuffing I'm going to take this yarn tail and I'm going to pop it onto my embroidery needle and now to close this hole I'm going to pick up the front loops only of the remaining 12 stitches so I'm going to go around these 12 stitches and pick up the front loops only and once you've got all of them stitches one more. I'm going to pull tight and watch that close that hole close. And now I can weave in this yarn tail. <laughs> 